Yeah, it's been a while, huh, since I've been doing these things. So, today we are going to be playing a little game I got off of a Humble Bundle called Paranautical Activity. It's supposed to be a roguelike shooter. Um, if you don't know what a roguelike is, I don't blame you, I haven't even figured out what it was myself. Basically, randomly generated dungeons inside the game. So, uh... Yeah, let's get to work, guys. First thing you know this, the soundtrack's actually not bad. It's actually quite yeah. That is right. Uh we got the choices of Gilda, Gordon, the Shank, David Bowie, and Dino Mike. Um I've played as Gilead. Oh by the way, I don't know who the hell these things are, they don't really show up. But uh Yeah. Can play. All right. Um, I guess I'll go through the basics real quick. What I got is basically a mini gun. Takes a while to load, but has a fire, infinite ammo. This thing is a laser pointer of doom. It kills the little guys pretty fast. Right clicking uses a bomb, heart, shield, everything else. Yeah. It's actually a really nice looking game. Uh, it's actually early access right now on the Steam, so uh, if you go on Steam, you can purchase the game as early access. Or you can do what I did and go to a Humble Bundle, pay 6 bucks, get a bunch of roguelike games, and I love it. I didn't even know, uh, when I got it, uh, the reason I paid 6 bucks was so I could get uh, uh, Stargate the Pit, which is on my on my wish list for the longest time, but it was always too expensive for me. So when I saw that it was on the Humble Bundle, I said, you know what, I'll buy it. What roguelike games are, as far as I can tell, is you go into a room, randomly generated, of course. And, oh my god, that is... That is crazy. And... You'll be met with one, two, or no, one, two, or three doors. And, and depending on the door, what's on the other side could be just a normal room with normal enemies, like this one's a normal room with normal enemies. Yeah, believe it or not, those big, doomed looking motherfuckers aren't actually uh, bosses. Uh, first time playing this, I actually walked into a boss room. Like, literally, I just walk into a room, cleared my, cleared the beginning room, walk through one door, and then I was fighting a boss. Which was pretty hectic. With a giant, oh, uh, hold on. That door right there, that's a boss door. I now know that. I took a few hits to take a little look at it. Get to them. Oh, uh, these little things are actually bullets for this thing. I think, um, depending on how much are on the floor, you, depending on how much the uh, ammo I get. One thing I do hate is this little mini map. It's, it's difficult to read. Like, there's a little black dot as you can see walking around. Whoa. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. Look at my, look at my hood. Or my little, yeah, my hood. It actually notices the fire and does that little fire eat effect. I really love games that do that. Alright, that's the first boss. Um, I'm not sure if there's any difference or not, depending if you go any further. Because, again, I haven't really played much of this. See, the laser pointer of death fucking murders it. But again, it's limited ammo. Uh, first time playing, yeah, I didn't read the how to play. If you go to the options menu, it's gonna tell you how to, uh, what the button control layout is. It comes up when you actually select, when you actually start the game. Fuck you, butterfly. Ow. 
and uh, yeah, I didn't receive it. So it's kind of strange because um, I was looking at it and it said to move forward it was to move forward it was uh I ha sorry I had to scratch my eye. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, to move forward it was actually press up on the uh, the pad on the uh, not the pad the arrow keys I thought oh shit I'll be honest when I went through this door I thought it was just telling me that this was another room where the boss where I could have gone to the boss room I didn't know it was actually the fucking devil Oh my god, this shit just got tense. Eat laser! That didn't work much. So like... Yeah! I eat guys like you for fucking breakfast. Alright, what's this? Pickle. Okay. Alright, so now apparently this is a special weapon. Ooh. So I could poke something with it, or I could fling it! No, oh, uh, I had bombs the whole time. I could have probably used those to make life a little easier. Awesome! So yeah, if you played The Binding of Isaac, this is sort of like this, sort of like that. Um, I think all those like games are like that though, so... Yeah, hell if I know. Oh shit, it does that. Oh crap, I didn't even realize I was in a room! Where's my sickle? What? Oh my god, I fucking murdered everyone! I love you, sickle of death! Burn! Oh my god, this soundtrack is so good. Oh, I was gonna say, where the hell's my sickle? And I realized this sickle is hell! Oh, fuck, okay. Let's see if I can poke him. <laughs> oh, the poke button of death. Ow! Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Whoa! Yeah, and uh, I went to the Steam store and I looked to see uh, how early, how early the game was. It, it, it said it was in late beta, really polished beta. And looking at it, it does look like it's in really polished beta. Look at it, it's beautiful to look at. I mean, sure, it has that Minecraft uh, aesthetic to it. Like a lot of games are starting to copy, but you know if it works, why mess around with it? Dr. Pig! Right. Ah, I don't have enough for the skull. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look around for some other, for another room. Maybe I can find some more cash to kill people with. That's another thing. The, the uh, mini map doesn't tell you. It uh, doesn't give a good layout where what doors are available. Or maybe I went to the wrong one already. I have to go. Damn, I really want these to skulls too. But uh, looks like I'm not gonna be able to get it. Oh well, that's
Oh, and uh, so once you beat the game, the levels, you can just go to these elevators and it will take you to another stage in hell. And there you go. That's basically roguelike games, I turn, I guess. Continue to go down into hell until you die. A very horrible and painful death. I don't want to know what that was. Oh god, it's a ninja! Oh fuck! That's actually really clever. What? what? Oh no, I'm dead! Fuck! Ah. Uh, oh well. So yeah, once you die, you just press restart, and then uh, choose a different class. Oh, so Gorton apparently starts with the sickle is faster, but has low, low health. Gilead has uh, basic stats. The tank apparently has more health, does a lot more damage, but only has a shotgun. And then we got David Bowie with his one weapon. Uh, let's go with David. Whoa, David's a lot faster. Okay, I gotta pull back his weapon. Good kill. Yeah, it's not that bad. Huh. <sighs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, fuck, that's the worst! Kill it, David! God damn, it's crossable to damage. Up! 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 Damn! And take your friend with you! Oh shit, I missed. Come at me, bro. Ow. Oh, so now David Bowie gets... A fish launcher. Excellent. Eat fishy goodness. Have some tuna, bitch. Doing that. Seriously, what the hell am I shooting? Eight fishies of doom! Ow! Oh shit, they're tracking. Find that, Nemo. Oh man, I love games when they're like this. So created with the weaponry. So really, the big doom boss like, boss like mini dude, mini boss thing. I, they could be a little more creative, but hey, I need to straight up copy them. Because, okay, they straight up copy them. Yeah. We got the Jawas around here. Yeah, David Bowie ain't got shit on me. The real David Bowie. They could call me Bowie Bowie. Booyah! There's my fucking face. Oh, yes! Ow! That poor bastard just looked at me. My god, this music is awesome. Oh, yeah, it does tell me where the rooms are. They're grayed out, so... Whoop! Ooh, two shots and he's dead, and he blew up in my face, and he died! You... Oh, shit. Sorry, but it's
Daj, działa. So yeah, that was a paranautical activity in beta. Very it's good. This is an early beta. I'm fucking amazed. But this is late beta. Um, I can't wait to see the whole game. Uh, uh, the web, the main, the main site, the, the main site. The Steam page said that they uh, want to put co-op multiplayer in this, and I could see it working. Um, the only problem would, pro would probably be uh, um, randomly generating worlds for online play. But who knows? Maybe they already have something like that. Again, I don't play roguelike games often. Uh, I only got this one because it came in a humble bundle I recently bought. Uh, I'll include the links in below. I'll include all the links. Uh, the humble bundle link, this link, and uh... Oh yeah. You will just get me into roguelike games. Probably not because of what, I, what uh, the other games are like. Uh, again, the only reason I got, the only reason I got this was because I wanted to get the pit, Starbound, uh, Starbound the pit, which is a roguelike game, uh, and that, well, sort of turn-based slash dungeon crawler type of stuff. Again, I am not an expert on this. All I know is when I played this game, I had fun. So check it out, guys, if you want. Uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, press the like button, that really doesn't do much, it just gives me feedback and tell me if I'm doing anything good in the comment section, or bad in the comment section, hell, say anything in the comment section, tell me who best pony is, tell me who worst pony is, best princess, best superhero, I don't give a shit, use my comment section for anything, but I swear to god, if Bob shows up, I will kill you all. And with that, I am out. Stay gold, guys. Thanks for watching.